Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithms challenges. In the last video, we went through the plus minus problem. And now let's check out staircase. In this challenge, we need to display a set of hash characters to build a staircase like shape. For example, this is, this is a staircase of size four. So it has four lines and it is spread in, in the last line. It has four hash characters. Its base and height are both equal to N, which is four. And it's drawn using hash symbols and spaces. So you need to print spaces before these hash characters to align the staircase to the right. So for example, if we are given six, as this N here, we need to print an N line and N wide staircase. Okay, cool. Let's go to IntelliJ IDEA to come up with a solution. Okay, we have a main function here and I will use it just to call the staircase function. And I have the staircase function here, which I need to implement. But first, let's think about it. If we are given three as, as the n parameter, what we should print? Let me, let me go ahead and do that. So for three, I need to put two spaces and one hash character to the first line. And in the second line, I need to print one space character and two hashes. And in the last line, I need to print three hashes. So if we count these, let's say space, space, hash, and then space, hash, hash, and hash, hash, hash. This is, this is the format we need to, we need to print. So in, in, in the first line or in the zeroth line, uh, if you if you ask let's go do that line is zero spaces two and hashes one and the second line line is one spaces one and hashes two and the last line line is two spaces zero and hashes three and this is the case where n is three okay so i'm 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 doing like that because whenever i am coming up with a solution uh, to a loop problem because I know that it's a repetitive task and I need to use for loops or similar loops. But uh, to analyze what should I iterate through, I always use this kind of hard-coded values to come up with an idea. For example, n is three and I, I can see patterns here. Since n is three, I can see that spaces and hashes are always added up into n, three. 1 and 2, 3, 0 and 3, 3. And line starts from 0 and goes to n minus 1. And spaces starts from n minus 1, goes to 0. And hashes starts from 1 and goes to n. So this helps me build my for loop. Let's say we have a for loop. Okay. And let's say this for loop is responsible for printing uh, each lines in each iteration. So we can, we can say that line zero to two, right? Line should go from zero to two. And in each line, in each line, what I need to do is to print two spaces and line plus one hashes. 
this is line plus one this is line plus one this is okay like uh, we got it how, how many times we need to print hashes but the spaces is as you can see it's like uh when this is zero this is two when this is one this is one and when this is two this is zero so they add up to n minus one all the time that means to calculate how many spaces we should print we need to uh, subtract line from n also we need to add a minus one to find out uh, what is this number if you if you got confused then uh, you can you can try to represent each of the value using this line uh, variable because this is our loop variable and if you can represent each of them with this loop variable then you'll be comfortable understanding and following everything so n is three line is line and spaces is n minus line minus one let's check if if it holds or not n is three line is zero three minus zero minus one is two here n is three line is one 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And here, line is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the spaces variable, n minus line minus 1. Let me squeeze a little bit just, just to fit it here. And hashes are trivial. This should be printed line plus 1 times. When line is zero, this should be printed line minus one, and so on and so forth. This for loop is responsible for printing each line in each iteration. So we can just to follow, we can create variables to hold these calculations with it so that we, we don't get confused. For example, how many spaces we want to print is spaces and that is n minus line minus one right and how many hashes we want to print is line plus one so we, we we calculated how many spaces and how many hashes we want to print now let's go ahead and print that much spaces and that much hashes to print spaces times spaces we can create another for loop and say i in spaces sorry i in one to spaces okay and then print i'm not using println because i don't want to print an extra new line character i i, I will just use print to print spaces and then after printing that much space, I need to print my hashes. So I can use a, again another i or j, it's not important. Uh, one from hashes so that it repeats hashes times and print again, not print lin because we don't want to print a new line character and print the hash character. And after this all are done, that means we, we are done with printing one line, right? This is just to print one line. And then we can print lin without any parameters so that we just print a new line character. So what, what we do, let me recap. Uh, we find out how many spaces we want to print for that line and how many hashes we want to print for that line. And then I loop through uh, one to spaces ju just to repeat this process by spaces times and print space character. And then I do the same thing for hashes variable and print hashes. And at the end, I just write println just to print a new line character so that the line is completed. So this is how we can do a staircase, but it's, it's, uh, let's, let's run it, but it's a bit too much code. <laughs> we can make it shorter, of course.
But since this the first solution is always uh, the naive solution, I want to show this as well, just, just in case you want to follow. Running this, we can we can see that it printed, but um, there is a problem, I guess. Because n is 5, but we got a 3-step staircase. And that is, we forget to change this variable. We, I, uh, I was trying to come up with a solution here, and I said zero, 0 to 2, but I forgot to do it 0 to n minus 1. Okay? 0 to n minus 1. Or, as IntelliJ suggests, we can replace it with until, 0 until n. And let's run this. As you can see, now we have our staircase. But uh, I think what we can do is instead of using 0 to n minus 1, we can just use 1 to n. So changing this 1, 2, and 3. Then we can just change this into n minus line. And this only uses line so that it is much more shorter. So I'm going to delete this one and that one. Okay. So hashes is equal to line. And it says you can then inline it. Yeah, of course, I know it. But yeah, uh, this is just to showcase. And let's run it and see if we don't mess up anything. Running this again printed a five-step staircase. So you're in good hands, no problems. But uh, let's, let's follow what IntelliJ suggests and inline this character so that we got rid of that variable. And now instead of hashes, here writes line and also we can inline spaces as well because the only usage is here what we can do is just cut this paste it here and then delete this um, i don't think we need parentheses here but just just in case let's run this and check if it works or not It still works, as you can see. Cool. But can we make it much more shorter? Yes, we can. But for that, I want to go to my second solution because I want to keep this the way it is uh, because we're going to do some major changes. I copy this code into here changing the function name a little bit. And now I'm going to show you the function repeat. Okay, repeat. Uh, repeat is, there, there are two repeats actually when I say repeat. One first is you put some kind of number here, for example, five, and then you pass an action, a lambda, so that it, it repeats that lambda, it calls that lambda this much time, okay? So if you want to print, um, if you want to print spaces for n minus line times, what you can do is just repeat n minus line and then do this instead of a for loop. Okay, so this will be the same thing with that, but without any loop variables because you're not using any loop variables. Why create it, right? For here as well. We use for loop and we have a loop variable, but we're not using it. So this, this doesn't feel uh, right to me, if you ask. So we can do the same thing here, but there's another repeat which I want to show you instead of this. And that is string.repeat. 
there is another repeat string dot repeat and this just adds up in a string multiple times the, the parameter you pass in here uh, determines that so this means for example a dot repeat five will produce will produce a a a a a this is a string okay when when you run this so this is really suitable for for our task here so instead of using this kind of print loops what we can do is just to repeat space character here n minus line times and then just print that like so okay and also we can do the same thing for this for loop instead of space i'm going to use hash characters and instead of using n minus line as times i will use line times okay so we can get rid of this and since we only have this print line here just to print instead we can use this as a print line because here this will all this will already produces uh, the end of uh, the line so we can just use a print line here so this also does the same thing let's try staircase 2 with four steps sorry i think i i uh, ran the wrong function i need to click this button yes now it works and our function is much more shorter comparing to this one if you're feeling adventurous <laughs> enough we can cut off one more line just just by doing this instead of using two separate print statements we can use one print line and then use a string concatenation operator a plus sign and combine these two lines in one line and just print that so for each line okay for each line we repeat space and minus line times and then repeat hash line times and combine them and print them and put a new line character at the end so it is uh, shorter cool we can make this even shorter but i think this is already more than enough we can use uh, instead of four we can use for each loop or we can do other tricks to make this a little bit shorter but i think this is already short enough so it's a good time to end this video Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.